So a couple of weeks ago I made a video talking about what the Game Pass experience was like on the Steam Deck. Now not natively installing the games because I don't dual boot Windows on my Steam Deck, but rather using Xbox Cloud Streaming to use Game Pass to play games that way on the deck. However, what I did not do was actually outline how I got this working on the Steam Deck, and after a few comments asking about it, I figured I should probably go ahead and make a tutorial video, and you know, just making a dedicated video for the purpose seemed like a better idea. Now, full disclosure, the way I did it was I actually used a guide that was published by Polygon, so I'll go ahead and link that in the description if you want to follow it along just in text. And actually, I would recommend that you do that, because there are a couple of lines of code that are going to have to be copied and pasted into the configuration options, and some of them, you can type them manually, but just for the sake of making sure that you don't mess it up and put something in incorrectly, I would definitely recommend copying and pasting from that guide. I'll see if I can put the lines down there too in the description though now that I think about it. But yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right in and I'll go through the process of adding Game Pass to your Steam Deck. So first off, you'll want to be in desktop mode, so go ahead and use the Steam menu to relaunch there and bring up the desktop interface for your Steam Deck. Next, you'll want to make sure you install the Microsoft Edge browser, which you can do through the Discover app. Now, I already have this installed on my Steam Deck, as you can see here, so moving on, after you have it installed, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and add it to Steam. So here I'm going to click on the App Launcher button in the bottom left, and then go to Internet, and then right-click on the Microsoft Edge browser and select Add to Steam. Next, we want to make sure that the Edge browser can accept controller inputs from the Steam Deck while in gaming mode. So from here, you'll want to go back to the App Launcher button and navigate to System and then Console to bring up the terminal, and then you want to enter the following command. And again, this is an easy thing to mistype as it's a little bit cryptic, so you may want to copy and paste it from the Polygon Guide that I used as a reference to make this video, just to make sure that you don't miss any spaces or anything in the command. After you've entered this text, you can go ahead and close the console window. And next, let's go ahead and get everything set up in Steam itself. First, you'll want to bring up your Steam library and search for Microsoft Edge. And then from here, you can right-click on it and choose Properties. And here, I'm going to go ahead and change the name to Xbox, just so it's easier to find in the future when I'm in gaming mode. And beyond changing the name, next up, you want to go to the Launch Options field. And we're going to add the following text to the end of the existing line after the at, at you space at at portion. Again, you can type this manually, but it would probably be easier to copy and paste. Once you're done, you can close out of this dialog, and going back to the library, let's make sure the control scheme is set properly. From here, you can right-click and choose Manage, and then choose Controller Layout. And from here, you'll want to select the Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad option. Apply the change, and then you can back out of this screen. So now that we have the Edge browser added to Steam and configured, let's pretty it up a little bit before returning to game mode. So I'm going to head over to SteamGridDB.com here and see if I can find some Game Pass artwork for the interface. After you've found some images that you like, you can right click on the header image and choose to set a custom background. And then separately, if you scroll through your library in the grid view, you'll also want to right-click here and choose Manage, Set Custom Artwork. And then finally, if you do want to have a nice icon in the filtering menu on the left, you can right-click and choose Properties, then click on the blank square and choose a square image to replace it, like I've done here. So now that the configuration is out of the way and some nicer artwork is in place, let's go ahead and test it out by returning to game mode. You can do this by logging out of desktop mode, which should bring you back to the game interface.
From here, you can go into your non-Steam applications and see where you have Xbox now listed. And after you fire it up, there will be a place for you to choose to sign in at the top of the page. And after you've signed in, you should be good to go to start navigating all of Game Pass's offerings and just enjoy streaming a ton of different games that are on offer through cloud streaming. And that's pretty much it for this one. Again, I just wanted to put out a short and sweet guide to getting up and running quickly with Game Pass on your Steam Deck if that's something that you want to try out. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Or if you have any suggestions or, you know, any optimizations that you've found to make the experience of Game Pass on deck work better, I would love to hear about it. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out on the channel with me. I really, really appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.